Hey everybody, this is Nick, designer of Monster Pit, here in our tabletop simulator version of the game, courtesy of Elzra. So what we're going to do today is just go do a quick overview of the game. So players are going to take on the role of captains, and you are going to be working cooperatively to fight off the monsters that have emerged from the monster pit. You're going to do this over the course of a round. A round consists of the morning phase, midday phase, twilight phase, and daybreak phase. During the morning phase, captains are going to roll dice. And this is going to indicate off of these captain results, whether or not they earn gold. So in this case, three gold was earned. Or whether or not the monster is going to move. And we're going to just grab this. Monster is going to start there. So in this case, the monster is going to move two spaces. Each captain is going to do this during the morning phase. Then we move into the midday phase. During the midday phase, captains are going to go ahead and assign their captains to the different districts of the Citadel, at which point they will get to take the actions of the locations in that district. And this is where the captains are gonna spend the majority of their turn, making sure that they're bolstering their outposts so that way they have more dice, special abilities, anything that they can do in order to uh, further the aim of the adventure, which is to defeat the monster before the monster reaches this space at the Citadel gate. During the twilight phase, the monster is going to have their turn over here on the power board. And I'm just going to quickly select this orc war chief. Uh, the orc war chief is going to take two yellow dice and one white die at the beginning of the game, as the power board now is indicating since we selected them. And they're going to go ahead and roll those. And in this case, they got one monster result. So we would look at the board and we would say one result, we're going to carry out these actions from left to right. And in this case, the Citadel raid. So they're going to attack the Citadel. They're going to attack the lead captain. And then they're going to play a card from the monster deck and see what happens from that. And that's going to be the twilight phase in a standard co-op game. Finally, on the daybreak phase, this is where any end of round effects are going to get resolved. If you have to pay gold to keep a character out, if uh, a card says resolve this at the end of the round, something to that effect, this is when uh, that occurs. And the uh, daybreak phase ends if you're playing with the encounter cards as a module, this is an optional uh, module, then at the end of that, you would draw an encounter card reveal it, and you would carry it out. And this could be anything from, such as this, a creature is coming into play, and we're gonna be putting creature tokens out into the Citadel that we have to deal with in addition to the monster. Or it could also be events that help this, uh, the captains in the defense of the Citadel. So you could have positive, you could have negative encounters. It all depends on what comes out randomly over the course of the game. And that is just a quick overview as to how you play Monster Pit. Morning roll to earn gold and increase vengeance. Midday to go to the Citadel, perform actions to improve your outposts. Twilight phase for the Orc War Chief in this case to go ahead and perform its actions and attacks. And then finally, daybreak phase to do the cleanup and see what random encounters are going to come out. Uh, to make things more interesting for us next round. And that's it. Uh, check out the other videos that we have in regards to components, district breakdowns, and differences between a standard co-op game and if you have a monster player or true solo mode.